At the end of 2022, Casio caught everyone by surprise with the launch of the PXS 7000 piano. The PXS 7000 is a very modern and stylish instrument and it gained huge coverage in music media publications and online because it looks like no other instrument that had ever been seen previously. Now what many people didn't notice however was that at the same time as the PXS 7000 was launched Casio also released the PXS 6000 model which shares much of the same technology as you'll find in the flagship PXS 7000 but it's clearly intended to be portable and ideal for gigging musicians, church players or for just when you need a higher quality instrument with a wooden key action lots of sounds and pro quality line outputs on quarter inch jack sockets that weighs only just over 14 kilograms. Compared with offerings from other manufacturers for similar spec instruments, the Casio is significantly lighter weight without compromising the excellent keyboard response. I'm Tony from Bonner's Piano Centers and in this video I'm going to summarize the differences between the Casio PXS 6000 and the PXS 7000 pianos and importantly give you some sound examples of the PXS 6000 that you could use in a performance type environment. I like to think of the PXS 6000 as the kind of tough younger brother who's always up for trying anything and he's perfectly capable but it's his big beautiful sister the PXS 7000 who gets all the attention because she's got all the beauty and style. So let's start by taking a listen to the main grand piano tone that you're presented with when you first power up the PXS 6000 and that's the sound of the Privia Grand. There are three different tone variations, standard, bright and mellow for the Privia Grand Sound and that's to suit different musical tastes. But in addition to this there are 12 extra piano tones which are suited to various musical styles including powerful stage pianos that are designed to cut through the mix on stage, modern pop pianos, honky tonk and a beautiful concert hall grand plus a nice octave piano which is great for playing salsa and Latin American style music. Here are a few more playing examples of some of the piano tones you'll find in the PXS 6000.
comparing the piano tone list between the two models, you'll notice there are three additional piano voices in the PXS 7000, and these are known as the Privia Hamburg, Berlin and New York sounds. These piano tones are more refined for home pianists and offer a choice of classical piano tones to be used for different composers and musical eras. There are of course many other sounds in the PXS 6000 and it is also possible to split and layer the keyboard to give you even more combinations. So here are a few more examples of some of my favourite sounds found in the PXS 6000. Although the PXS 6000 doesn't have those three additional piano tones that are found in the 7000, Casio has included a very useful feature in the 6000 that allows you to apply DSP effects to any of the sounds. This means that you could add an amp simulator to a classic EP voice to give you some overdrive, or an auto wire to a clav voice, or add some chorus to a synth pad sound. To make things easy for you, 
every sound has a preset DSP effect applied, but unlike the PXS 7000, the 6000 gives you the added advantage of being able to apply your own choice of effects to any of the preset voices. All 100 DSP effects have multiple parameters that can be edited and your settings can be stored to one of the 96 user registration memories, which leads me nicely to some of the features that I think make the PXS 6000 ideal for a live piano player to carry around with them. Firstly, as I've already mentioned, the PXS 6000 has a pair of stereo full-size quarter-inch jack sockets for plugging the instrument into external amplification. It also has its own speakers built in, which are fine for practice at home or for monitoring when on stage. The PXS 6000 also has a mic input with its own set of DSP effects to give your vocal a kind of a more polished sound. On the far left of the panel, you'll find two additional control knobs which are not present on the PXS 7000, and these can be assigned to a number of useful sound modification settings, and this includes filter cutoff, resonance, brilliance, reverb send, envelope attack, release time, vibrato depth, panning, DSP parameters, and many other functions. The inclusion of these controllers, I think firmly shows that Casio is not only aiming the PXS 6000 at the enthusiastic hobbyist, but also at semi-pro keyboardists. Finally, this feature is found in both models, but is particularly useful to performers, and that is the registration memory. So the PXS 6 and 7000 models both allow the user to store 96 of their favourite settings in the memory of the instrument for instant recall using the touch panel buttons. This means you can store the settings you use for particular songs and quickly recall them as required, which is something that you'll need every single day in a performance environment. So to summarise the differences between the two pianos, the PXS 7000 has three additional piano tones, and that's the Berlin, Hamburg and New York sounds. Plus it has some preset edited tones known as hit pianos, which are for playing specific song titles. The PXS 7000 also comes with a stylish wooden stand in the box, whilst a stand known as the CS90P is available as an optional extra for the PXS 6000. The PXS 6000 has very powerful DSP effects which allow you to add effects to the sounds and it also has the benefit of the additional live controller knobs for modifying the sounds in real time whilst you're performing. There's a price difference of around about £500 between the two models here in the UK which accounts for the more premium cabinet finishes of the PXS 7000 and also the beautiful solid wood stand. You are very welcome to come and try these pianos for yourself in one of our stores. Just give us a call first to check that the model that you want to see is available in the showroom of your choice. You can also order your new piano directly from the Bonners Music website and you'll find links to the products in the description of this video and we offer free delivery. I hope you found this video really helpful and I'd just like to end by saying thank you very much for watching my Casio PXS 6000 versus PXS 7000 comparison.